Okay, so I'm just home alone and quilted on my imprint quilt with Hello. So let's see if we can put this somewhere we can actually see what I'm doing. Sure. Alright, so I'm just doing the straight lines in here. So let's go. Super lazy, so I have marked nothing. Um, so I'm just trying to aim for about a quarter inch from the last line and or the seam, depending where I am. But I'm not very perfect. I keep having trouble with my um, corners being all wonky, so I'm trying to actually stop, turn off the machine. Well, not all the way off, but like turn off the stitch regulation so it's not moving and then start again turn the corner so I don't get these weird like if we look over somewhere here <laughs> oh sure now that I'm like trying to point it out they're not going to be okay right there you can see right there we've got these like they're not really a good corner so that's because I didn't fully stop in the corner there I just sort of kept going so I'm trying to actually stop in the corners but I'm pretty lazy so sometimes that just doesn't happen. So when I get to a spot here, so this corner one, there's like only one line there. If we scooch back, there's like two here now. So instead of going back and forth within the same one all the time, I'm going to go um, over to that corner. So I'm in that corner, and then now instead of going back on that yellow one, I'm going to move forward to this orange one. So, there we go. So you can see I'm trying to line up right here, so that's about half an inch. Before I was like moving it here and going that way, but then I'm this one that way. But I like to not have to switch my ruler to behind and in front of my foot. So I did it. It's my like corner. And then I'm just lining this so it looks like I've got about half an inch of space there. Up. Into that corner. And then... There we go. So I'm running on the assumption that when my foot here... Where's the camera on this thing? Okay, so when my foot here hits this corner here, I assume that that's going to be about a quarter inch to go in here. Because again, as I said, I'm not marking this. So I just assume when my foot sort of hits the corner that that's a, a, the spot to switch directions. Um, let me put this here so you can see a little better, do you think? Oh, that's real close up. So I'm guessing that. Alright, so... Over to the down, over. So now that I'm done that row, I'm heading over to row three. So I'm just going to stitch along the ditch in this line to get over there because there's no way that I am starting and stopping 400 times. So. And also, I have yellow thread in here, so I'm trying not to get on the black, but you can see, like, here, right there, my gray got onto the black a little bit, and I just don't care. I am, like, the least picky quilter you've ever seen. There's another spot there. I figure when I'm, like, back here, you can't tell, so if someone's that close to my quilt, I'll just punch them in the eye, and they won't be able to see what's going on anyways. Oh yeah, here's a good view of my hand, hey? Ooh, it's okay. So Rocky's gone to step in at the moment, so I'm here all by myself. I've got... So, Monday morning, I just spent two whole days at Rocky's got the truck, so I can even if I wanted to, so that's just fine with me. I'm eat a whole bunch of ice cream and enjoy the thunderstorm so that's you can see that's where i'm at right now here's 
what it's going to look like when it's all done. So, we'll see you guys later.